Calabria is famous for one thing, Ortho. He's the monster that lives in our forests. He's a real hero in these parts. Ortho's not your typical monster. You see, he's half Bigfoot. Uh, which half? Well, we're not sure. <laughs> Uh, what's the other half? Well, he's not sane. Huh. Orko is a rare case. He likes people. And because of his charisma and charm, people like him too. Maybe a little bit too much. Just a little. When people heard about Hortho, they all fled to the area and started a town about him, based on him. Um, that's all that's written about it, though, anyway. Usually, the rush of population would scare any monster into hiding. Hortho, on the other hand, chose to meet the public with open arms. Can you read this? I bet you can. Show that fifteen percent of all Americans cannot. Why should they be at a disadvantage? Vote no on Prop Four Five One and ban books from existence. Together, we will make a difference. He was my first friend I ever had. I walked into the forest a little bit too far one day to have a picnic. Well, I walked right into a hungry bear. Hortho came and scared him away. Well, in return, I caught a couple of squirrels for him and we roasted them over an open fire. He'll always be my hero. Always. It was my father who realized that this town could turn our monster friend into a profitable endeavor. He set up the first Bigfoot-themed shop. Others followed suit. Soon the whole town was themed after Hortho, as tourists became our main source of income. Tragedy struck the small town as daily Hortho sightings abruptly stopped. There had been several times when Hortho, severely depressed, well, he would go into hiding, but not more than a week. And I knew almost immediately something was wrong. The town was in a real dilemma. I mean, without Hortho sightings, the town's popularity would simply plummet. With tremendous financial loss imminent for the town, I had to give them Hortho by any means necessary. That is when the mayor came to me with a top secret mission. At first I was appalled, and then he handed me this large sack of money Good for lunch. Launch, launch. Of course, the task wasn't going to be easy. With the mayor's plan firmly in place, news of Hortho sightings quickly hit the presses. Being mayor of a town like Calabria is no easy task. This is a busy place. But by now, things were getting back to normal. You know, the townspeople were happy. They were making money. Kids were playing in the streets. Everything was fine. The town had their ortho back. No one needed to know the truth until this happened. Mayor paid me three dollars a day, wear his specially made suit, run around the forest. No one expected that heat wave. I took off my mask just for a second, take a drink. I didn't think anybody would see me. Boy, was I wrong. 
I mean, there it was, the proof. We had all been fooled. Our entire lives we had been lied to. Some of us were saddened. Others angry. Very angry. My best and only friend a fraud. I couldn't believe it. I wanted revenge. So that's when I went to the mayor's office. We had a chat, he and I. When Mr. Harbor busted into my office and demanded I do something, I knew it was time to tell these people the truth. That friendly forest monster wasn't a fake. He was missing. Once the story hit the papers, the mayor sent for us. The Ministry of Missing Monsters Division and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI. This will be our first assignment. We're absolutely determined to find him. We have constant contact with Mr. Harbor and Mr. Fitz. They have been more than helpful. We will stop at nothing to save this poor, helpless, potentially lethal friend. He's been like an older, hairier, frightening brother to us all. The mayor sent me out on a new special mission. Hawthorne had many friends. The problem was no one knew if they ever really existed. My first stop, Northern California, to find Hawthorne's closest known relative. Awful. Simply awful. When I heard of my half-brother's disappearance, I knew it was a time to act. I can only hope that others of my kind will rally around and support and, and give their love. Together we will find him. <laughs> others quickly jumped to Bigfoot's cause. Of course, the rumors started. He's been recruited by the government to do their bidding overseas. He was created by the government as, as a secret conspiracy. He went to LA just to get his band started. That's when everybody came to the library to check out books of all kinds. They took out books on kidnapping, spontaneous combustion, alien abduction, and kick-ass vacation spots, volumes one through nine. Me and my shelves were nearly empty. We found this note just outside Hortho's cave. We immediately suspected foul play. Why? Why does everybody always suspect me, huh? I mean, you, you know more about, you probably know more about the monster than I do. Kidnapped. Yes, that would make sense. You think he was what? Kidnapped. Oh no, mother told me never to let anything happen to him. Oh, when she finds out, she's gonna kill me. Oh! Oh, it's... 
Ah, uh, we got a molting here, guys. Uh huh. But where is he? Where is he? Hortho! 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 We, the quiet town of Calambria, have commissioned this video in hopes that someone, somewhere, has information as to who did this horrific act and can bring us our forest monster back. Ortho, we miss you and love you. <clears throat> we need him back. If you have any information on the disappearance of Ortho, please call the number on your screen or contact your local authorities. The proceeding was brought to you by the town of Calambria, California. Paid for in part by the Find Hortho Foundation. for their love and support over these last few weeks. Um, and I, I apologize for any hurt that my sudden disappearance may have caused any of you. Uh, I just, I realized the forest is no place for a monster. Um, when I packed up my stuff and headed out here to LA, thanks babe. Uh, um, I left a note, um, I thought it was pretty clear for you guys. Uh, didn't realize there was a problem until I, I saw my missing person's poster back here. I just, I called local authorities, I let them know that I'm okay, I'm here, everything's good, there's no foul play, so I'm just, I'm here, I'm, I'm living the dream, well, actually, I'm driving a cab till the, till the dream happens, but, uh, until then, well, I, actually, I, I, speaking of the cab, I have a fare waiting in the car on the way to the airport, he fell asleep, I just wanted to stop by and get a couple of drinks for the road. So um, I'm gonna go take him to the airport and then they live the dream. So thank you guys for all your love over all these years. I very appreciate it and um, wish me luck, guys. Thanks. Ortho, we do wish you the best of luck. And we as a town have a huge announcement. With Ortho now settled in his new surroundings, we are now holding open auditions for a new town monster. Wow, they shouldn't have done that. That hurt. <laughs> Don't worry. That town's gonna be just fine. Yeah, watch this. Watch this right here. Boom! Ooh! 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 Good right! Ooh! As you would a level fish. <laughs> We're gonna get you to the rock sooner or later. See, this is Hortho. He's my new love of the life of my love. He's being a little. Uh, if I had known you guys were coming and filming today, I would have dressed up a little nicer, you know, done my hair, that kind of thing. <sighs> Ortho's been here. Can you read this? I bet you can. She had a God. <laughs> how long, how long, how long, how long? Tell me, do I have to wait? Do, do I have to hold back? Do I have to hold on? Do I have to mold the words I want to sing? How long, how long? Must 
I hesitate Here to your smile, your face, your smile, your style Your sense and that I've fallen, fallen for you way too easy Will you ever come back? And if you come back, will you remember me? Will you ever come back? You said next summer has never felt further away Will you ever come back? Won't you come back to the promises that we made? And if you ever come back, you said December that you never felt this way. To your smile, your face, your smell, your style, your sense And I've fallen for you way too easy Will you ever come back? And if you come back, will you remember me? Will you ever come back? You said next summer has never felt further away Will you ever come back? Won't you come back to the promises that we made it? Come back, you said December that you never felt this way Hey you guys Find anything interesting? <laughs>